In this video we're going to talk about how to arrange in order of size a number of ions and or elements that are in an isoelectronic series. Isoelectronic. I wonder what that word means. You're going to figure out during this video. I'll give you a hint. Isoelectronic means they have all the same number of electrons. Let's take a look at a particular question here. If, uh, if you had a series of elements and ions here at they all have the same number of electrons how can you figure out what is their size could you rank them in size are they the same are they different what's going on here what kind of problem are we talking about how can we quickly figure it out so this is a isoelectronic problem let's lay it out so one of the things you need to quickly recognize is that uh, these uh, particular ions and elements in this problem all have the same electron configuration. What do I mean? Let's take a look at oxygen. Oxygen uh, normally has eight electrons, element number eight on the periodic table. So oxygen, we'd write the electron configuration as 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. You add up the superscripts, those are the number of electrons there. But for the ion, that's oxygen 2 minus. It has gained two electrons. We put them in its outer orbital. And it becomes a full uh, orbital set. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So in this problem, we're dealing with the anion, oxygen 2 minus, not the original oxygen. It's changed. And hopefully you would see the same thing if you were to do that for fluoride. You would end up getting 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 for the fluorine negative 1 charged ion. You will see the same with neon. I will prove it to you again with magnesium, which normally has uh, an electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. But to create the plus 2 ion, you need to get rid of the outer two electrons, and you get 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So you can see for all of these, I hope, in this problem, make sure you go back and study each one of these. But they all will have a 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 electron configuration for each one of these. They all have the same electron configuration for each one. This is why it's called an isoelectronic series. They all have the same electron configuration. There's a cool little trick that you can do to figure out the size arrangement here. Let's find out what it is. How do you rank these in terms of size? Well, since they all have the same number of electrons, there's a fun thing you can do that uses the, the idea of what happens when the uh, the only thing that's changing between them now is not the number of electrons, but it's the number of protons. So if you think through in terms of the ratio, the each uh, one of these has uh, 10 electrons. That's the 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 arrangement. But the number of protons is changing as you go from oxygen to fluorine to neon to sodium to magnesium to aluminum. And if you look at that ratio there, it'll tell you something very important. When you have too many electrons relative to the number of protons, you become very large. See that ratio is greater than one. And as we add more protons and become a different element, that ratio is getting smaller. That particular uh, species, the ionic species here, is getting smaller. So uh, going from, in this series, I just so happen to put them in order. Um, the oxygen 2 minus is larger than the fluoride minus. You can see it's almost in, in the order of the charges going from negative to positive, and that should make sense. When you get too many electrons, uh, the protons can't hold on to them and bring them in. So now you know how to order an isoelectronic series. Keep your eyes open for that. It's a problem teachers and tests and textbooks like to throw at you because it's kind of a fun little thing to see if you've really picked up on the theory of uh, ionic sizes.